Somebody say, Yabira, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. There is nothing as powerful as the blood of Jesus. There is nothing as powerful as the message of the cross. And the message of the cross goes together with the message of resurrection. Praise be to God. We are here because Jesus died for us. Jesus rose up again. That's why we are here. Hallelujah. We are born again, not by our works. Not because we have worked for it. But we are born again because he who knew no sin became sin. That we may be called the righteous ones of God. Hallelujah. And because of Christ, you are righteous. Can I hear an amen? Because of his death on the cross and his resurrection, we are made righteous. We have not worked for it. It's by the grace of God. The grace of God. Unmerited favor. Actually the cross is the place of the bathing of the grace. When Jesus died on the cross and he rose again. He ushered us in the dispensation of grace. Grace simply means God working on our behalf. And so we are enjoying this life, not because of our works, but because Jesus, because God has done it on our behalf. And that is why we enjoy salvation. Hallelujah. That's why I am happy to be born again. Because somebody else stepped on what that which was made for me. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Anytime you would sin, you are to die. But at the cross, Jesus Christ took our place. We were to die, but he took our place. He died on our behalf and he gave us life. You are alive because Jesus died on your behalf. Can I hear an amen in the house? And that is why this morning you must be happy. You must be proud. You must have life because somebody died for you. Because you are enjoying the grace of God. It's not by works. It is by the grace. Hallelujah. And this morning I enjoy I enjoy it. Oh, Pasi, I can hear the, the sounds of rains. I don't know if it's every Sunday. But this Sunday I've heard the sounds of revival. And I declare in the name of Jesus. Sitam Elret will never be the same again. They are sounds of revival. Allow me prophesy. There are people who went because of offense. I declare in the name of Jesus they are coming back. Oh my God. As we were worshiping God. I don't know if it's only me. I felt like I felt like growing wings and just going in that worship. It was so powerful. I felt God in this place. And I decree in the name of Jesus. One day you will say come and see what the Lord has done for us. Hallelujah. We are going to a dispensation where we will stop speaking. But God himself will begin manifesting himself. I pray for a season where we will remain quiet. And the works of God speaks for themselves. Oh come and see. I don't know who that person is. But I feel in my spirit. There is somebody who has been waiting for something. A time has come to say. Come and see what the Lord has. Hallelujah. I feel revival. Right from Wednesday. I feel revival. I feel a change in the air. Oh my God. I can smell revival. I can smell a fire. I can see a smoke. When I see a smoke, I know we have a fire somewhere. Hallelujah. I feel it. I can see it. I may not be here, 
But one day I will hear testimony that things have changed in Sitam Eldoret. And people are coming. And these chairs will stop being there. These chairs will be sat on by souls. Because souls are coming. Hallelujah. If that is the only work I've come to do, then I'm happy to declare revival in the house. When revival comes, you begin to enjoy to worship. You begin to enjoy to pray. You begin to enjoy to serve. And I decree in the name of Jesus, may the zeal of the Lord come back to you and consume you. Hallelujah. Of the cross. And yesterday, as I thought of this scripture, this topic, I realized for those who speak Kiswahili, who anasema, anachezea chini, chini ya maji. And I think the cross was the game that God played chini ya maji. Even the devil hange lewa. What is happening? In the mind of the devil, the cross was meant to finish Jesus. But in the mind of God, the cross was meant to bath the church. Ah, my God. My God. Ilikuwa game ya chini ya maji. Just read this verse with me if you can. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. I love, I love that part. Ilikuwa game ya chini ya maji. Even the rulers of the earth could not comprehend. They could not comprehend what was happening. Media, if you are there, you can help us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. The cross, the cross. If, if only they knew what they were doing, they would never have crucified Jesus on the cross. But they didn't know. They didn't know. What was meant to destroy Jesus became the place of victory for Jesus. Became the place of triumph for Jesus. Became the place of rebirthing for Jesus. The Bible says, uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 8. The Bible says, let's begin from verse 6. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of, the, of this age or the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. No, we speak of God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. Verse 8, none of the rulers of this age understood it. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. None of them understood that the cross was a weapon. The devil didn't know that the cross was a weapon in the hands of God. In the mind of the enemy, the devil, the cross was for destruction. But in the mind of God, the cross was to usher in a new dispensation. Praise be to God. Allow me decree in Jesus' name. That which was meant for your destruction will usher you in another dispensation. In the name of Jesus. That which the enemy thought is a door to your destruction, I declare, shall become a door to your next level. In the name of Jesus. The cross. At the cross, I am light. At the cross, I am healed. At the cross, the cross was a place where even boundaries were broken. At the cross, regardless of our tribe, regardless of our religion, regardless of our races, at the cross, we become one, the sons of God. At the cross, at the cross. Thank you, Jesus. And because of time, allow me to look at only three things or four things that were achieved at the cross. What is this power that we receive as believers at the cross? And today I pray in Jesus' name that we will leave this place confident because actually we are not fighting the battle. The battle was won at the cross. We are walking in the victory of Jesus. 
When this sinks into your head, nothing can shake you. Nothing can bogger you. Because you know you are in the winning side. No demon, no sickness, no setback can put you down. Because you know at the cross, Jesus said, it is finished. At the cross, it is finished. And you can become like uh, the man called Miguna Miguna, who one time said, come, baby, come. You can tell those problems, come, baby, come. You can tell that setback, come, baby, come. Just come, just come. Because I know where I am standing. I know the side on which I am standing. You just come, come, come. Because at the cross, I am a winner. At the cross, I am a victor. At the cross, the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Woo, hallelujah. I love this. At the cross, it is not, it's not now me who lives. At the cross, Jesus lives in me. And when you see me, oh, Dani Yang, ni yes. When this thing sings, nothing will bogger you. You know, we are living in times when, brethren, we have deviated from the gospel of the cross. No wonder a small demon shakes you. But when we go back on the cross, bring them on. Yes. Bring them on. Yes. No shaking. We are Holy Ghost filled. Yes. Anointed. Yes. Holy Ghost speaking. Yes. Devil chasing. Yes. Let them come. Yes. Why? At the cross, we are victors. And today with this message, I want to behave like as Samson. The Bible says, and Samson, when he was fighting the Philistines, and there was so much on his head, he waited for the time of harvest. That time the wheat, the wheat had grown, and it was ready for harvest. The Bible says, Samson went and he looked for foxes. He looked for foxes, and he tied the tail of foxes. Two, two foxes and he lit a fire and the Bible says where they were running they left behind a fire I have come to light a fire in this place wherever you go there shall be fire behind hallelujah we have come to light a fire people must know you are born again people must know you carry Jesus can I hear an amen in the house at the cross, nothing should put you down. Yes. You have the power. Amen. I love this thing. I don't know why you brought this, this topic, my brother. Woo, this thing is sweet. Oh, my God. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. Ah, hallelujah. Do I have people in this house? Yes. Can I hear an amen in the house? Yes. Can I hear a better amen in the house? Amen. Woo! For the message of the cross, oh, bashalabaya, is foolishness to those who are perishing. Mm. But to us. But to us. Help me preach. Help me preach. Sorry, this is how I behave. Help me preach. Tell our neighbor, but to us. But to us who are being saved it is the power of God it is the power of God oh, hallelujah pass it to us the message of the cross to us who are born again to us it is power it is a dunamis about to explode it is power to those who are perishing, they saw as a tree to finish Jesus. But to us, to us, do I have believers here? Yes. But to us, it is power. In other words, from today, as you walk from this auditorium, please walk out with power. Because at the cross, power is releasing us. Hi. Kumbe kuna kuna vitu hapa tamtamu hivi. Power. Sasa kuna kushtuka. 
Because in us we have power. Yes. Hey, when you are called to go and pray for the sick, please go. What I could tell you, senior, I'm sorry, I'm sick. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm sorry, I can't. No, no, go. It is not you. It's now Jesus in you. Power. One man encouraged me, told me, Pastor, where are you going? Apone aspone, she does your ni mungu. Hey, uh, and my pastor she does ni nini. He kazi si yako ni mungu. So kito ombe mugonjo. Hey, kamu kono. The Bible says that I kwa mukono na atapo. Sasa apone aspone, si kazi yako ni anani. Hacha kuogo pa eka. Receive your healing. Receive deliverance. Lafu na chia nani? the cross. This is power to us. The message of the cross it is power to us who believe. Number two very fast. At the cross we are made righteous. I say number one at the cross we receive power. Number one we receive power. At the cross we are made righteous. Oh thank you Jesus. Second Corinthians 5.21 Oh, my time is flying. God have mercy. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. Kuna kitu hapo tamu nilisoma jana nikasikia Mungu anashuka. Kwa hiyo hiyo room tulikuwa ndani. Paka nikasema hey Mungu ukishuka hapa na nguvu hivi the whole hotel might have problems. Hey, hey, hey. Are you there? We begin from 20. <coughs> We are therefore Christ ambassadors. Oh, at the cross you become an ambassador. Hi. Hi. At the cross you become an ambassador. As though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be seen for us. So that in him we might become the righteous of God. Wapendwa, it is simple. We don't have gymnastics. We are not like the prophets of Baal who they prayed until they began to cut themselves. Simple. When you believe Jesus Christ as the Lord and your savior, When you believe in the finished work of the cross through Jesus you are called you are made si kazi yako we become we become the righteous ones of God you have no work there just believe in Christ Believe in the finished work of the cross and you become at the cross at the cross the cross is the place of exchange it is the place of transaction where there is something that god takes from us and there is something that god gives us at the cross there was exchange that jesus took our nature our human sinful nature he took it and he hanged it he nailed it at the cross and he gave us godly nature his nature righteousness of god he took our sinful nature and he gave us godly nature so at the cross we become the righteous ones of god ay 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 that is powerful Imagine. Hasa kuanzia leo nimekuja kukusaika. Kukutia, ku encourage you who feels timid in the house. My friend at the cross, you are the righteous one of God. Paul somewhere he says behold, the old things have passed away. The new things have come. Oh my god at the cross don't remind me of the old at the cross i become new at the cross 
The Bible says, as far as east is from the west, so God has forgiven us. At the cross, all my past, with all funny things of my past, is thrown in a tupa katika shimo lasahau. At the cross, I am a new person. The old things have passed away. You are here, you are not born again. Maybe you think you are carrying a very big burden. You think I met a sister who told me, Pasi hi dambi yangu siya kusamehewa. And she thought what she was carrying was so heavy. I tell you for free, at the cross, when you become a new, the old nature is hanged on the tree. And the new nature is given to you. At the cross. One more time. I don't want to keep Buddhist. Just say as you sit down. At the cross. At the cross. Where I fast. Saw the light. And the burden of my heart. Rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight. And now. Woo, at the cross. At the cross. Thank you, Jesus. God made me righteous. Yani dambizangu zote ndifanya. Pale musalabani. Ziliangikwa. I feel like encouraging somebody in this meeting who is walking in self-condemnation. Hear me this morning. At the cross, your past is crucified there. Is hung there. You become a new person. You can leave this room today free from every condemnation and become like Paul. Paul says, is this Romans 8? For therefore now there is no condemnation. No more condemnation. First Peter 2 verse 24. The Bible says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. Place of exchange. At the cross, he himself, First Peter 2 24, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin. Oh my God. At the cross it is not you who lives. At the cross you die to sin. At the cross Jesus begins to live in your life. I love the last part of that scripture. It says by his wounds, you have been healed. The cross, point three, is a place of healing. The cross is a place of healing. At the cross of Jesus, as he shed the blood, by the wounds of Christ, we are healed. I decree in Jesus' name, if there be anybody in this meeting who is sick, May you receive healing in Jesus' name. Because at the cross we are healed. At the cross we are healed. I say receive your healing in Jesus' name. I say receive your healing in Jesus' name. At the cross we receive divine healing. At the cross we die to self. And Jesus begins to live in us. Very first point three or point four. Colossians Chapter 1, verse 20. Colossians 1, 20. I have very many scriptures. I'll try to rush a bit. Colossians 1, 20. There is something there, my dear, my dear, brother, my dear sister. The Bible says 20. Oh, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. 21. Once you are alienated from God and were enemies in your mind because of your evil behavior. But now he has 
uh, he but but uh, sorry but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free oh free from what accusations don't allow anybody to remind you of your yesterday to accuse you because at the cross two things happen number one we have reconciliation at the cross god reconciled us back to him from genesis if you read you will see the desire of god was to have a fellowship with man and that is why he created eden and in eden the bible says in the cool of the day god would come down just to fellowship with adam when adam fell Adam was chased away from Eden. But still God had a desire to bridge the gap. And that is why all the way to Malachi, prophets come with the message of restoration, trying to bring man back to God. But it couldn't work. And then now in New Testament, God decides to come himself in the form of the body of man, Jesus Christ. He decides to come himself. At the cross, three things happen. God becomes the sacrifice. God becomes the giver. God becomes the recipient. At the cross, God gave himself to himself. I wish you had me. At the cross, Jesus being God, died. He gave himself a sacrifice unto God for one reason that man and God may be reconciled yeah. at the cross we become the sons of God yeah. when I grew up we had a song in see you used to sing behold what manner of love the father has given unto us Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. You know the chorus? That we should be called the sons of God. That we should be called the sons at the cross the barrier is the bible says when jesus was dying even the barrier in the temple even the curtain that would tell man you remain there we have a place for only a few the high priest and he must be holy to step there that curtain was torn into two telling man man from today you have an access. You have an access. Can I say something? At the cross, we have an access. You don't have to go through a man to get to God. At the cross, whether you have broken English, broken whatever, you, you don't know how to speak, just match to God. Access. We are reconciled to God. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Point number four or five. I don't know which point is that. I'm just giving now points. At the cross, God demonstrated greatest love. The greatest love of God was manifested at the cross. The John 3.16. You love that verse so much. John 3.16. Uh -huh. Can we go together? Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Let's go. At the cross, God gave his only. The greatest love of God was manifested at the cross. He gave himself. He gave his only son to show that he loves you. You are here, you are feeling rejected. I have a word for you. We have a God who loves you so much to the extent of giving his only begotten son for you. 
Can I hear an amen church? Amen. You are here, you are feeling low, like no one is, is, is loves you. I have a word for you. We have a God who loves us. And at the cross, he demonstrated that he loves us. He gave, he gave his best for us at the cross. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, at the cross. Say at the cross with me. Say again at the cross. I am loved. Say again at the cross. I am loved. Galatians 2 verse 20. Galatians 2 verse 20. Thank you Jesus. Don't worry I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I'm, good. I'm a good timekeeper. So don't worry. Galatians 2 and verse 20. The Bible says, are you there? Uh -huh. I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. I'm just repeating the other statement. That at the cross you cease living. You cease living. Kama umeokoka na bado unashikilia mambo mengine. There is yuoko viyako tuipige msasa. Because at the cross you cease living. At the cross Jesus lives. Paul says at the cross it's now not me living. But it's Jesus. He takes the life of Christ. And he places in us. At the cross. Thank you Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Another point very fast. At the cross I've said this. Just to put down the, 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 the scripture. John 19.30. At the cross is a place of accomplishment. It is finished. At the cross. The cross is a place of accomplishment. It is finished. At the cross. God accomplished his divine purpose on earth. And he said it is finished. It means all your struggles. The moment you get at the cross of Jesus and believe in Jesus, all your struggles comes to an end. At the cross, it is finished. Setbacks come to an end. Now I declare in the name of Jesus, if there be anybody who still is facing struggles in Jesus' name today, as we learn about the cross, may they come to an end in Jesus' name. May you walk in a new dispensation in the name of Jesus. All the debt was paid at the cross. Shetani asijaribu kukuletea maneno muambie my friend. You have come too late. Because at the cross all my debts. Madeni yangu yote. Ya dhambi. Yote. Pale musalabani. Yesu aliweka. Alinuachukua. Alilipa. It is paid at the cross. All the debts. So I have come to tell you my dear one. Stop having self pity. Face the challenger. And tell the challenger I'm sorry. I know my position. At the cross. All my debts. Were paid. I am free. Ah, Somebody shout I am free. I am free. Uh -uh, say again I am free. At the cross, I am free. Woo! Hallelujah. I love this thing. I am free. No matter what the devil say, at the cross, I am free. I pray in Jesus' name, begin to experience the freedom of God. I say begin to walk in the freedom of God. If you believe, say a better amen. amen. I am free. I am free. At the cross, I am free. At the cross, I am free. It is finished. The sacrifice was complete. Can I go deeper? Which why ambiwa na mutu toa hii the beam wa hii fanyike kata. Haya ya 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 ya. Le baza kata. We are having people who are very interesting. They will come and tell you for this to happen. Do A B C D. Tell them I'm sorry. It happened at the cross. At the cross, I become a recipient for free. For free. For free. Yes. I wish you had me for free. Yes. Don't be manipulated. At the cross. I receive healing for free. Deliverance free. Let no one tie a cost. 
Let no one tie a cost on healing. Hii ugonjwa yako nafungia hapa kuna deni ulipe hii ndio hii ugonjwa itoke my friend mwambie i'm sorry wewe umetoka wapi at the cross it was paid at the cross i receive everything for free it is finished hallelujah can i hear an amen we have con men all over and they are conning people they are tying a prize on every breakthrough they tie a prize You want to get a job of how much? Of 10 million this amount. Of how thousands this amount. They tie. Tell them I'm sorry. Even that job at the cross I receive for free. Woo! Even that marriage at the cross I receive for free. Lift up your hand tell God thank you for the cross. For one minute just tell him thank you for the cross. Thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the freedom. In Jesus name say amen. amen. At the cross you receive for free. Pasi if there's only one want to live here that one free freedom. Machukua bure. Just the only currency is called faith. The only currency you need at the cross is called what? Faith. You go there by faith, you take for free. Simple. No gymnastics. No ada 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 kabra, da kabra. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I love this message. Yaani ukishaelewa hii maneno, hauna stress. Hebu si isingi kidogo. Dakika moja isingi kidogo. He sink your freedom he sink dakika tu moja he sink kuna watu mmepitia mambo because amjajua kuna mambo pale msalabani unapokea bure bure kuna watu mmeingia kwa madeni mmeingia kwa malons mmeingia kwa vitu umesahau pale msalabani sihitaji loni yako ni free free unapokea vitu bure There are Christians who are depressed in churches because the prizes were tied with prize tags Every miracle had a prize tag Every miracle had a prize tag Hii ni hii hii ni hii So people have, they go all over to to pay the price they forget that Jesus Christ was the ultimate prize at the cross freedom if there is only one word i want to sing to us this morning freedom free let no one lie to you just increase your faith the only currency you must work on you know what faith grows from one level to another we have people of small faith little faith great faith so kwa hapo kwa faith iwa inakuwa kuwa ikienda lakini kwa ku receive ni free so basing on your faith you can receive what you want yes. so the only work i want to give you today go and grow your faith lakini kwa kurisiko ku receive ni free as you grow your faith receive basing on how you have grown your faith go in that level of your faith take what you want by faith receive it Amen. Jesus paid the price yes. Pasi is dangerous kupeleka mse hoteli na umwambie at my bill pick what you want be prepared na hiyo ndio Yesu alifanya hiyo ndio Yesu alifanya <laughs> Yes, wa mesema, just take what you want at my I do, I'm, I'm the one in charge. Then then you go to a hotel. Unaambia mtu at my bill. Anach, anachukua ch- chips ya mia moja. No, my friend, ni mimi nitalipa si wewe. Ni mimi. My friend, my friend, chukua. A friend of mine made a mistake one day. He had a small boy, his best son. 
He made a mistake. Akampeleka kwa those before before Nakumat collapsed. We had one Nikusum called Mega City, big one. So he took the sun, he told the sun, chukua hit roli. Whatever you put here, nitalipa. Wewe baba, baba nakupenda sana, chukua troli, weka vitu. Hey! Kijana aacha atembee hapo ndani. Ha, gari anaweka, mpira, kila kitu. Then troli kaja, troli kaja. But the boy looks around and sees. Hi ijaisha, hi nakumati vitu zingali ziko. Naturally, major. The boy began to cry. <laughs> the father asked him, "Nini mbaya?" I said, "Baba, sasa zita kitroli. Sasa beba hi, beba hi mega city, beba yote peleka nyumbani." <laughs> Where is our faith? Jesus has paid. Jesus has paid. Enda beba. Just carry. Tell Christ you paid. Carry. It's for free. Wapendwa, why are we limiting our receiving? Why are we limiting? Jesus is saying, you know, this one is at my bill. I have paid. Wewe chukua, kila unataka. Please, enda chukua. Next time I come here, I want to meet people who have really received. Hallelujah. Yes. I want to meet people who have received. Who have, in fact, siku receive, ukilipiwa, unachukuanga. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so melipiwa. Uombi tena. Kulipiwa uombi nipatie eko na umenilipia. Nachukua. 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 Hey! Can I have people in this house who their faith can grow to a level of picking the kingdom? Go and grab. Go and grab. Go and grab. It is paid for. Hallelujah. I, I say a better amen. It is paid for. It is paid for. It has been paid for. Just pick what you want. In fact, no, don't pick, grab what you want. Just go and grab what you want. It's paid for at the cross. Hallelujah. My time is up, Pastor. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. I don't know if my time is up. I'm very careful with the time. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Uh, you can remain behind for a second session, 42. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I want us to, uh, 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 to just thank God for the finished work of the cross.